you guys what's up it's your girl Starla and today I'm gonna to be talking about something that I think needs to be talked about um, this happened on oh my neck sorry I had to pop my neck real quick um last Sunday um, I got a message from somebody on Facebook and the person was saying that her sister is missing and I think her name is the sister that is missing is named Talis, some Talisa, or something like that, and um, she asked me, is she with you? I was like, no, I don't live in the state she lives in. She wouldn't be with me, and she isn't with me, and I was like, why? What's wrong? She says, well, um, or maybe this was like Monday, Tuesday. I'm not too sure. Um, she says, well, my sister's been missing since Sunday. And I was like, oh my God, like, I know the person that's missing. Um, she used to live stream. She used to, uh, I talked to her on Facebook every once in a while. And I wouldn't, I never thought I would be that kind of person to have a friend that's missing. Um, I never, I've never ever had a situation where I knew somebody that was missing, that has been missing. And the thing is, this girl, um, I will send, I will put the picture of, like, screenshots of her Facebook and screenshots of, um, of the, of the thing that says that she was missing on the news, a screenshot of that because I looked it up on Google. But, um, the thing is, like, this female, she's 18, you guys, and as you guys know, the government does not get involved with, like, an 18-year-old. They really won't do anything, and either way, they won't do anything for, like, 25, hour 25 hours after she's been missing. They really won't look for her, and I looked on the Google, um, yesterday, and I was trying to figure out, because nobody got contacted me to say if she went home, where she's at, or if she's still missing, but, um, I looked on Google, and some things were saying she's missing, um, there was one website that said that she was, she came home, I don't know, I just, I need to know, because I know this female, and by the way she streamed and stuff, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but it looked like she was trying to get attention because when she went on her streams live, she would be, always be crying, throwing shit at the walls, like, she'd be really upset, and you could tell, like, something in her life wasn't right, and she was really upset, either it was depression, it was her life isn't going right, which all of us have gone through it, and... I don't know I've just I've never had a friend go missing that's the thing like I've heard about it and I've heard other people's friends and family go missing and then they're found dead in a lake or something but I have never had a friend that I actually knew go missing and it's terrifying and I'm just gonna do some pointers for you guys um, that would help you not go missing if you're going to go with someone you don't trust and you don't know, make sure you bring two, at least two other people with you when you go meet that person. So that if something happens, most likely one person is going to survive that situation and be able to tell the cops what went on. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like, period, end of story, you shouldn't be going and meeting somebody, whether it's somebody online that you don't know, whether... It's just somebody from school you don't know. Like, you never know. There could be high schoolers that you don't even know that could be murderers. You never know. Never, ever, ever go meet somebody you don't know or trust. And if the person that you are going to meet, you trust and you know, but they're kind of weird, either way, bring at least two to three people with you. Do not make the stupid decision to go running off because you're mad at your parents or whatever with somebody you do not know or somebody you know that you really don't know. You know what I mean? And 
kids are so quick to think, oh, this dude has a whip and he's he's stopping to see if I want to ride. Don't get in that car. Please don't. Because that may be a murderer. That may be somebody that just kills you and dumps you in a lake or something. Or in a ditch. Please, please do not. Somebody wants to pick you up. Like, I've had, I've had that situation. I've had that situation where somebody randomly, I'll be walking and somebody randomly pulls up behind me. And I don't know the person, but they're asking if I want to ride. And I'm like, no, I'm good. And if they keep on asking you and irritating you and harassing you, that's when you need to get on the phone or you need to ask some questions or you need to, um, for females, I would bring a knife just to make sure, like, I know no knife is compared to a gun, but just in case, just bring a knife with you or something to protect you. Um, pepper spray a taser, something. I know some of that stuff is illegal, but at the same time, you got to protect yourself. And as women in general, we're not as strong as men are. So they overpower us. Simple as that. If we didn't want to go, they'd make us go. You know what I mean? So just be careful, you guys. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping and praying that this girl that I'm talking about is at home she's safe whatever but I'm gonna try to if you guys know anything about this um, comment down below please just comment down below let me know what's going on um, but it's scary it is really scary to know that you're in that situation where I've never been in the situation where somebody goes missing that I know and the only the only person that went missing is my sister like she would run but at the same time I knew she was okay you know what I mean but this person doesn't even live in the state same country or state as I do you know and I don't know where she went she probably you know girls are so easy to go over to a man's house do not go over to a man's house what are you thinking? You know what they could do to you in that house? Like, at least bring somebody with you, bring a group with you, or just don't go. If you don't trust that person or you don't know that person, just don't do it. You got to think of all the people that actually do care for you. And if you went missing or you were dead in a ditch because somebody murdered you, like, you got to think about how they would feel. You got to think and not be so self-centered. Because they do care, and it may not seem like they care, but at the end of the line, when you're missing and you're not there, they will freak out. They will try to help you, and they will care. So anyways, guys, um, I just thought I'd make a short video on this situation. If you guys know what happened, because I don't know, I looked it up. Some say that she's back home, she went home. Some say, you know, she's still missing, I guess from Sunday, last Sunday. I don't know guys, but if you guys know anything about this female, please comment down below. Let me know what's going on if you guys know. Um, I love you guys and I will uh, put the screenshots after this video so that you guys know who I'm talking about. And I love you guys and just just remember, just remember guys, just just be safe when you do something. Just be safe, please. Anyways, guys, I love you guys, and like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.